In this video, you're going to become familiar with FTP client software and an FTP server with regards to transferring files using anonymous and non-anonymous access. So, FTP, as already mentioned, is the file transfer protocol, and this is a very efficient way to transfer data across a network. It's a high-level protocol operating at the application layer. Now, it has behind it a whole bunch of commands, and, and here's some common FTP commands. And so they're all designed around um, transferring of files. So the FTP command PWD would print the current directory the system is in. List would return all the files and directories. You could change the directory above it. You could make new directories, and you can copy files. Now, all of these commands, FTP commands, could be issued from a command light interface by being typed and being given the correct syntax. Often though, people much more commonly use FTP clients. Now these are separate pieces of software which sit on top of the actual FTP protocol. You interact with the software, which is obviously much easier to use, and it generates and sends the appropriate FTP commands. Let's take a look at a typical FTP client piece of software. So it can look a bit confusing at first, but really it's quite straightforward. Up the top here, uh, we have our sort of login section. So you can see here, this is the remote server we're going to be connecting to. It's been given an IP address. Now, typically, you will be required, if you're connecting to a remote server to get files or give files, you'd be expected to log in. And that, obviously, is um, the non-anonymous way. Um, it is possible to do FTP in an anonymous fashion where you don't actually supply details, but that's quite rare. So these are the connection details, and assuming you've got those correct, you would then be able to make a connection between the client you are on and the remote server. Here then, we see uh, the local hard drive, so you can see C colon slash dev slash FBN, so this is the, the folder structure, the file structure on the client's machine, and here, we see the folder structure on the remote server. We can jump into the various folders and the contents are displayed down here. So this is the contents of the source folder on our server. And this is the contents here of the SVN folder on the client. Now with most uh, clients like this, transferring a file is as easy as dragging and dropping it from one side to the other. So if I grab this file here, and I dragged it and I dropped it into this folder here, the FTP commands would be issued and it would transfer this file from the server to my machine. And like, so we call this downloading, you know, when you download something off the internet because you're grabbing it from the server and putting it on your machine. Likewise, I could grab files or folders from here and drag them onto this side. And when you do that, you are uploading because a file is moving from your client and you're placing it onto the server. These other two sections are really just information windows. This bottom one here, as you can see, is showing the status and the progress of the various data transfers. And this window here is just providing you with status commands of what's happening. And you can actually see here some of the FTP commands. So you can see what commands are being issued behind the scenes. So the FTP command port or STOR.